Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 98. Uh, and the proverb today is, haste makes waste. Yeah, we still hear this one quite a lot. Uh, anytime somebody was rushing too much and they make a mistake, uh, you often hear somebody say, hey, be careful, haste makes waste. So this one is still quite common. Anyway, uh, let's uh, take a look at the note here. Uh, this proverb basically means uh, that things uh, that are done in too hurried a manner are usually done in a sloppy way, which may lead to mistakes and errors that may cost even more time or even more problems. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Uh, this proverb was first cited in John Hayward's uh, A Dialogue Containing the Number and Effect of All the Proverbs printed in 1546. So that's the first time they found it. Uh, so remember, I think I've uh, mentioned him a few other times with some of the Proverbs too. Um, he wrote a book of Proverbs, Proverbs at that time. So that doesn't mean that he necessarily created them. Uh, he just would, made a list of a lot of the Proverbs of that day and kind of explained it. So he had a book in 1546 that did this. And since it is 1546, you know, we still got some kind of like old English here or so or you might say Middle English, you know, where the spelling is, you know, very different. So, uh, so if you see some words like containing, for example, uh, that's not the way we spell containing today. We spell with a, uh, a T-A-I, not T-E-I, you know, uh, the number and effect of all the Proverbs printed in 40s, um, 1546. This was the exact quote, and you could see, you know, some, some differences in this quote. Some things that provoke young men to wed in haste show that wedding that uh, haste makes what maketh waste. Okay. So obviously, you know, some, some today is S-O-M-E, here it was S-O-M. Things, things has an I. So some things that provoke, that cause young, you know, without a U, young men, uh, to wed in haste, to marry too soon, to marry too quickly without thinking about it. So that's actually the quote that he was uh, using there. Uh, so after wedding, uh, after after they marry, after the wedding day, that uh, haste maketh, make thick, we hear maketh a lot in Shakespeare, you know, it's the old English where, you know, basically just means makes uh, waste. Haste makes waste. Yeah, this is another one. Basically, this, this line itself is almost another proverb, you know, don't rush into marriage. Uh, or uh, remember we had the quote that I covered recently by Benjamin uh, Franklin, you know, keep your eyes wide open before marriage and half closed afterwards. Uh, also, like, don't rush into marriage. Make sure you're making the right decision. So basically saying the same thing with haste makes waste. If you rush into marriage too quickly, you might make a mistake. And that's a big mistake. You better be careful. Uh, all right, anyway, let's look at example number one here, um, the way we hear it used today. I know the deadline is due soon, uh, but don't rush this. Uh, it needs to be done perfectly. Haste makes waste. Yeah, that's just the way we hear it used now. Or number two, uh, do you see what you made me do? Now I messed it up. Haste makes waste, you know, and the person's probably complaining, like, you were rushing me too much, you were pushing me too much, that's why I messed it up, so, <laughs> kind of blaming the person, but we often will use this phrase in this sentence, haste makes waste. Anyway, I hope you got it, I hope it's clear, thank you for your time, bye-bye.